Hi, I'm Alice and this is My Frugal Wonderland and today I want to show you guys what I put together for a summer suitcase swap that's hosted by It's a Deal here on YouTube. This is actually a one-on-one -on -one swap and my partner Patricia already sent me my swap so I posted that before I posted what I created. Um, I'll go ahead and link that in the description to below if you want to go ahead and see what i put together just keep on watching so starting off with i did make this um handmade card and then i just go went ahead and put um, my maker's mark on the back there so i wanted to go ahead and send that to her so here is the suitcase that I put together. Um, Liana had chose this suitcase. It really was pretty easy to put together. So I was really happy with that. Um, there is one thing I am kind of disappointed in the cardstock that I used for the base of this. Yeah, so this cardstock really wears down easily. I barely mess with it, like just open it up a few times just to put my items inside and it's already wearing down on the side here so i'm really disappointed in that this was actually some um, cardstock that i got from michael's in a grab bag so that was a little disappointing but i still really love how it, this came out um right here i just little summer die cut there and i tried to keep it pretty simple i like the simplicity but um i made Th these little die cut um, hibiscuses from like this foiled um, paper that came in this pack um, and then right here on the back I thought this little this was actually a pick that I got in a Michael's grab bag last year as well and then this pick matched the paper um, that came in that kit so I thought that was pretty cool and it just says welcome to paradise so also on the suitcase she wanted you to include a little dangle so I made this little dangle here that I got charms from um, I want to say either Shein or Timu those are my go-to places for charms because they're fairly inexpensive so there's that um, I actually managed to fit all my items that were required um, in the swap in this container. So I just put a little bit of Velcro and then I put Velcro back here as well just so that it would stay closed. So just for some reinforcement there. So I just go ahead and open that there. And then on the inside here on the first page. Oh, that flipped. Alrighty, we have a little dangle here. It says Patricia and then summer dreams are made of this. So in the first pocket here, I did put my um, memory decks card. This is what I created. I put a little dangle here that says Patricia for her. So I was really happy with how this came out. Right here on the bottom, I did use a little bit of this bright colored pink tool. And then I made a little crepe rosette um paper crepe rosette this little um pineapple is actually from dollar tree it, it came with a pack of four i want to say and then on the back here i just put all my information so she'll have that there so i was really happy with how this came out so that was in the first pocket here so on the inside the cardstock here was actually a lot better i used um this echo park summertime uh paper collection that I got in a mis in a Echo Park mystery box. So I was really happy. I wish I just used this paper for the entire um, suitcase, but you know, you live and you learn. So anyways, in the next page here, I have, um, you were supposed to include some bows. So I made these little shaker bows. I actually got these shakers um, at, I wanna say from Shein a while back. And then I just used, um, some of this yellow holographic paper and did a die cut of some um, bows. These probably need a little fluffing. They probably got flattened out from being squeezed in here, but I was really happy with how those came out. And then on the next page here, it says best summer ever. And then we were supposed to do trim samples. So I put some, um, this like melon colored, uh, what is it seam binding and then this stretchy like a neon green um, trim 
and then I have some Rick Rack here. This is actually vintage Rick Rack that I had in my collection and then some bright pink pom-poms. And then the last thing we were supposed to include was a crofter's choice. So I actually made it to little um, rosettes. These rosettes are actually made out of um, cupcake liners that I made into rosettes and just um, decorated. I was very happy with how these came out. I thought they were so cute. So yeah, I hope she likes what I made for her there. So there's that and then now on to a few extras. I just wanted to show you guys that it was so funny because she had sent me the purple version of this as packaging and I was going to do the same and use the pink one. So I just wanted to show you that. I included this little clip that I got at the 99 um, store and then she made me some decorated sunglasses and so did I. Um, these ones are a little cheesy but I thought they were so cute. I just put her name and then put a little flower there. I hope she likes that. I thought this was so cute. And then also I did in here, it's a little sequence mix in there and I put it in a baggie and then I just decorated a little uh, spoon and then I put actually one of the sequins that are in here on there and then I got these picks at the 99. So I just um, beaded, added some beads to that and decided to just put it in there for some extra decoration. And then in here, I did include some little tiny goodies. So I've been really into making little mini flowers. So I included some of the ones that I had started making and a bunch of little uh, charms and cabochons in there and beads. So I wanted to go ahead and share that with her. Here we have a little more extras. This is actually a popcorn bag from the 90, um, from Dollar Tree. So I absolutely love these. Um, so I just included some more extras in here. So I just included some banner pieces, um, some stamps, and then a little extra um, things that she could make um, other embellishments with and i also made some bows here out of um, some clearance ribbon that i got at hobby lobby if you liked what i put together go ahead and like and subscribe leave me a comment down below telling me what you think all right guys till the next one bye